Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. We are jumping in again and we are on a little bit of a streak now. We've been doing some greedy murder and such and we're doing Tainted Andromeda. I think Tainted Andromeda Greedia would be kind of fun. It might be a mess. I've never actually tried playing it as this character before. So yeah, I don't know. Also, okay, we no, we, we got on, we got a charge for that, I see. Not really what I was hoping for, but I, I'll i take it. So, I just want to say, I, I don't actually know how much this character has been sort of balanced for Greedy Mode. I imagine not much. I can't imagine the developers went to too much effort to make Greedy Mode viable with this dude, just because not many people play it. But, it's kind of an interesting concept, because we've always got this at the centre of the room. <clears throat> And I think there's some item combinations we could end up getting that could be pretty good. I am interested to see how exactly the whole singularity business works. Because that's that's something that, that I, I feel like could be very peculiar. Because obviously, as you guys know, this character can't buy items or get items through any other means other than singularity. And he doesn't get charges from clearing rooms. He only gets them from picking things up. And... There's like basically no pickups in this mode. Oh, oh wait, whoa. I've just realized something that I've done that's made this literally impossible. Ah, um, so I have a mod on the, <laughs> oh no. We're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna keep going. So I have a mod on that makes it so that your, co the coins that you get are automatically added to your character rather than being pickups also. This is uh, screwing me over. If I die, I'm gonna restart without that mod on. Yeah, um, normally, Normally, you just pick up the coins and get charges. Not for me. Not for me. But anyways, uh, we'll see how this goes nonetheless. Uh, I wanted to ask question of the day relatively early on here. What's something that you thought would be really, really difficult, but once you did it or once you learned how to do it, you were surprised or kind of intrigued by how much easier you managed to handle it than you thought? Because I think something for me that I think a lot of people probably go through, I was really sort of... I wouldn't say exactly scared, but I was really worried to go into work. I really I really attempted and tried and for the most part succeeded in staying in education for as long as I possibly could. Um, because I just really didn't want to get a job. Um, blood clot, okay. Um, yeah, I, I really didn't want to get a job. I wanted to avoid it for as long as I possibly could. And that's why I went to university. One of the big reasons is just because I wanted to prolong my amount of time before I had to get a job. And... I don't know what I was worried about. And I think a lot of other younger people also have the same sort of fear or same sort of worry about getting into work and, and going to a job and thinking it's going to be the end or be all. As long as, you're, as long as you're not in a job you absolutely hate, which I know isn't always avoidable. Um, it's not that bad. I think we're, we are going to have to restart, by the way. this is We've made this quite impossible for ourselves. Um, also, this is just a tricky setup here. But yeah, it really wasn't as bad as I thought. I ended up getting my first real job, my first proper job, um, at uh, just a random store. Um, and it wasn't too bad. It was a very, very local store, meaning, okay, yeah, we did die. Okay, that's fine. I was kind of expecting that. Let's just quickly go back here and go mods and see if we can find the mod that I'm talking about. Uh, Cathedral Ingredient, Alt Path Ingredient, Anti <sighs> Auto pick up coins. There you go. We're going to have to turn that off for now because as this character, it causes some issues. <laughs> <coughs> I didn't think about that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> did not think about that. Anyways, we really don't care about our streaks too much here. So let's just jump back in. See what we can do. Ah, should have thought about that. Need to restart the game real quick. Okay, let's give that another go, shall we? Let's hope that this time it will actually work out for us. But yeah. This should be a little bit of a better start, because that was a little bit of a false start there, I'd say. So where do I want to be using my charges, really? I don't know. That's probably the best place. But yeah, I kind of <clears throat> had a bit of a, a wobble to start with, where I didn't really... Ooh, this is kind of a good uh, little pickup here. I didn't really want to get into work, and I was kind of sort of... I wouldn't, like I said, I wouldn't say afraid, but it was just, it was just a bit worry, because you hear bad things about it. You know some people are in jobs that they hate and stuff like that, and I was just kind of like, I don't know, this, this seems like... A, yeah, there you go, that's better. This could be like, I don't know, kind of difficult to get into and it's a big change considering I've been in education for so long. Um, but I ended up, the transition for me really wasn't so bad. I think, I mean, it definitely helped that I'd moved in with my girlfriend at that point. Um, so I've been going out with Katie for like 
don't know where that heart came from. Um, I've been going out with Katie for like four years at this point, I think, about four years. Um, so we, we were like pretty happy to move in together. We, moved, we, we went fairly slow to start, but yeah, I was pretty happy to move in with her. Um, and so that definitely helped. It means I wasn't kind of doing it on my own, but it was moving to a new city without anyone else that I knew apart from my girlfriend and going to a job where I wouldn't know anyone local, I wouldn't know anyone that worked there. And it is a bit daunting, it is a bit worrying, but I think as long as you kind of knuckle down and just, just realize that needs must, that's kind of just what life is. Um, and I didn't, I didn't end up finding it too bad. I really got into work quite, quite easily and quite smoothly. And I actually really didn't mind my job at all. It was a very, very um, boring little just till bitch job. I just sat on the till and scanned items and st stocked shelves. It was the most basic of basic shop jobs, but it was, I don't know. I, 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 I definitely didn't dislike my time there. I stayed there for about a year and a quarter. Um, and, oh, Backstabber. Actually, do you know what? Backstabber might be really good with the setup. Potentially. I'm just thinking. Also, we only use our money on keys and stuff now, which is kind of interesting. I don't think... Yeah, you're not great. Upgradable, are you? Okay. This is also good. Okay, we've got some decent stuff here. Some decent stuff. Also, our character is looking... Muy bien, very fabuloso. Yes, okay, a backstabber is going to be good. Basically, my thinking was, I'm actually hitting enemies in the back a good amount with this. Just because of the nature of how I fire. Which means, as long as I can set a backstabber, the bleeding effect got a really big buff. So, as you can see, we're going to be dealing a lot of damage through backstab. I, I didn't really think about just how potent this uh, combination could be. And it's not always going to hit in backstabs, but you see there... And the faster the enemy moves, the more backstab damage we do. I think it's actually going to be really good. Um, also, that's kind of nice. Um, shrinking all enemies in the room obviously won't help on bosses here, but... It just, it's always a bit finicky what counts as the enemy's back. <laughs> but I, it seems to be working out right now. And the sailor's uh, hat as well, adding some creeper on the floor whenever we hit an enemy is pretty good. You see that? He jumps and just takes a ton of damage. This is... Okay, this is a combo that I did not expect at all. We'll definitely be going for angel deals here. I think a devil deal would be unwise. Um, so we'll be skipping out on that. Well, this is interesting. So I think I want to be using mainly my my item room, my my golden item room to, to get items. I think that's the, the best course of action. So I think we want to go grab that, come back over here. Cards are kind of interesting. Do I want to be grabbing cards? We'll come in here. We'll pop this in here. Lead pencil's pretty good. And we we'll grab this charge. We pop this in here. That's very good. Because um, we're not going to be spending all that much. Um, okay. I actually think that this has ended up being a lot more of an interesting play style and setup than I thought. And it, and it is clear that with it, when you don't have auto pickup coins, the devs actually have thought of greedy mode for this character. And there's a bit of tactics to it. I also like having my tech baby, just that little bit of extra. Also, lead pencil here is really nice. God damn, yeah, it's... Oh god, oh, there's an invisible enemy right in front of me. I only saw the one a little bit further away. I didn't see the one really close. But yeah, just having that one... Yeah, th this is definitely the time for this. Ah, this is where he is. The shrink ray really doesn't do too much, does it? It shrinks them for, like, such a short amount of time. Okay, just keep our distance here. We should be fine. Enemies that don't move all that much don't really get affected by backstab all that much at all, but... By the way, lead pencil works in a very strange way here. It doesn't, it, 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 it protrudes from our character, but it like, it has like a my reflection type effect to it. Strange. Kind of lowers its range a little bit. <clears throat> Makes it a little tricky to use. Yeah, I'm going to say Shrink Ray, I thought it was going to be quite good. It's not very good. <laughs> we can pop this again. Kidney stone is going to be good. Oh, God. I need to be careful. My health's low. 
Now, I didn't actually think about the fact that soul hearts and things will be on sale sometimes in here. Not this time, of course. Not when we need them. But sometimes. We are inevitably going to take some bad damage here. And uh, I have to say, I think that this first run might be a little bit of a bust. We've got some really, really interesting things working together. But I just, I don't know. It, it, it just, it feels like it's not really coming together just based on, yeah, there you go, the dumb damage that I'm taking. Oh, God. Wait, uh, excuse me, excuse me. I'm, I'm confused. I'm confused. I really wasn't ready for um, Wormwood, I have to say. If I could hit a single shot on um, Rainmaker, that'd be really nice because he is at really low HP right now. There you go. Oh, you bastard. Okay. That was unfortunate. That was a really interesting setup there, but it is what it is, I guess. Um, hmm. We keep, we keep getting this same room every time. Also, Curse of Rebirth is so bad in this mode for us. Um, splits collectibles into item wisps. Soul Cleaver. Interesting. This could actually be quite good. Okay. Right. I always get collectibles and pickups mixed up, but it does mean collectibles is in items. Basically, if we get an item, we... Thanks, that was bullshit. Um, if we get an item we really don't like, we can soul cleaver it to try and uh, get some Lemmageddon Wisps that are a little more useful. I don't know how many it splits it into, to be honest. Good. More pennies we get here, the better the parts to get hit. Some rough enemies here. The um, the modded enemy waves have, have proven to be fairly difficult from what we've seen here. I want Backstabber back. It was, oh, yeah, like this. This is an insane wave. These enemies split into spiders. So this is kind of crazy. This is going to be a very full room for us now. As I said, a very... Yeah, this is nuts. Whoever made that wave, you can you can go and uh, buy yourself a Christmas present. Because that is not nice. It's, make sure it's a lump of coal, though. Also, we've got this fella, too. Come on, now. Stop with a BS. Oh, my lord. This guy's getting too fresh. He's getting too close. This is this is an interesting challenge. I, I like the idea of this greedy mode with this dude. It's it's definitely got some some bumps in the road. It's definitely got some twists and turns that I wasn't really anticipating. The first one being me accidentally completely breaking one of the entire mechanics of the character. Whoops, didn't mean to. Um, okay, still not done. Okay, wow. We're getting so many champions as well. Also, the faster flies from uh, Eternal Champions mod is uh, screwing us heavily. <laughs> they are so fast. So we can pop this down. And it's Burn Spares. I actually think Burn Spares is a decent pickup just because we're in one room for a long amount of time. So the Burn Spares have a chance to actually do something. Right, let's crack that open. This is a pretty good trade, right? See, that works out. And then... I think we use the other bomb here in the hopes of more keys. Or more bombs. <laughs> um, and our bomb you want as well. That was a terrible bomb usage. Okay. Check in here. Pop this. Actually, let's pop it in here. Prop Tursis. Actually... <laughs> I was like, yes, Proptosis, and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Proptosis is awful for us, really, because uh, now it's very, very, very difficult to hit anything at range. We have to, like, careen everything into the middle. So let's try and do that. We got three Lemmageddon Wisps here. Seemingly... Oh, this is interesting. We got... Two of the Lemmageddon Wisps are the item that was on the pedestal. And then one of them is another one. It's piercing. That's interesting. And 
I think that's a. I think that's purposefully done because it, it fires out triangles, but it also gave us the piercing triangle tears with Sagittarius as well. So I wonder if that's like a pre-authored combination when you cleave that, it always turns into those. I don't know. Maybe I just got really lucky, but that seems too coincidental to be honest. But yeah, I, I'm not sure how to feel about taking Proptosis. I think it's a reasonably good choice, just because things do tend to stay near the middle. But it could prove to be problematic on the later parts of the, uh, of the uh, setup. Also, our Lemmageddon Wisps are doing great. But also protecting us too, which is really nice. And Bone Spares was a good choice. <laughs> that has proven to be... A very good idea. Right. Pop in here. I think I'm going to cleave that. Soul Heart there is very, very nice. <clears throat> I will take Almond Milk in a heartbeat. <laughs> in the hardest of beats. I will take Hemolacria in a heartbeat. Well, this just got wacky. Also, could you sell me a soul heart? Just the one time, please. So yeah, um, I think maybe having uh, Proptosis with this isn't the best. It'd probably be a lot better without it. But this is still pretty wacky. <laughs> Oh my lord. Yeah, the Proptosis seems to be breaking this in, in ways that I can't really fa fathom. Yeah, this is... <laughs> this is not good. This is very weak. I mean... we still got 3.34 damage, to be fair. I'm just not killing anything. Also, the... Um, the tears, the, the the white ones, are uh, causing some some lag. I'm gonna try and get rid of them on purpose. There you go. Just to stop the lag a little bit. I realise they were good damage, but still. But yeah, like we need things to be near the centre because otherwise we're having a really hard time dealing damage. Proptosis is. Uh, Unfortunately, not so good this time around. And of course, we get some enemies that literally can't get close to the center. That's going to help. Oh, God. You see how many hits this thing takes to die? Oh, Lord. Also, this champion has been alive for so long because he just keeps regrowing. He's going to be like the last Bastion. He's just going to be there forever. I'm having a really hard time killing anything here. This is frustrating, but really hilarious. Oh, there's a fly. Get it away from me. I don't know if having piercing is maybe a bad thing with this setup as well. Well, now we don't have piercing, so we'll see. Okay. I think this is last wave by the looks of things. Okay, yeah, not having piercing is so much better. Okay, it's not the last wave. Why would I ever think it'd be the last wave? Oh my lord. That dude came at me so fast. There's so many burn spares about. There's an invisible champion here that I can't seem to deal with. Is it just you left now? Little fella? I think it is. Very nice. Daddy long legs is incredible. Let's split that. What's the other thing we got here? I can't tell what that is. This is interesting though. I like the idea behind this. Okay, I think when we actually pop off, it, we hit pretty hard. It's just if there's enemies like at the corner of the screen, we can't do much. Hello, sir. If you'd like to stay exactly where you are and not move, I would be eternally grateful. I said don't move, goddammit. Wow. I, I really need some HP as well. 
More of these? Okay. I mean, we have a lot of burn fragments about, so that might help. No. Apparently, they just run through them. Okay. The damage is pretty good when enemies are near that. And we got the angel deal, too, which is fantastic. Really? Jesus juice? I mean, it's nice, but doesn't really get us where we need to be. Um, okay. Let's keep going. This is a weird one. A truly weird one. Wouldn't have expected we'd be having something such as this. Okay, we need to buy another key. Really need Soul Hearts game. Um, I just, I've got to try this because I think this will give us a Soul Heart. I also just realized I didn't actually need to use a key to destroy this. Come on. It did give us a soul heart. Nice. Now, I could just buy a bunch of trinkets in the hopes that we get a trinket that actually benefits us. I think that's actually a decent enough play. Okay, let's bomb that open. Let's... Wait, wait. Can, we can upgrade Daddy Longlegs, can't we? Yes. Okay. Daddy Longlegs double upgraded. Very nice. And we'll come here and pop that. That's not great. That is... Okay. Wait, did that, did that just say no effect for characters that can't have soul hearts? Did I just misread that? I think I did, didn't I? You dullard. I'm pretty sure I did. No special effect exceptions for the forgotten. Characters that cannot use red hearts will not benefit. Damn it. <laughs> Should have read more. He can't even be upgraded. I'll leave you. Okay, we got a lot of different things going on right now. Hopefully Daddy Longlegs can be the savior that we're looking for. Spider-Bite's really nice. I like it. The candle's also doing good work, too. Or should I say the two candles? Ow. This is just stress, though. <clears throat> Mainly just riding on stress right now. Don't you dare leave a bunch of tears about. Damn you, Jimmy. Are these enemies being blind is nice. Be nice if they died, though. Oh god, oh god, oh god. So many baby bombs. I need more coins. I need more coins to drop. There's the big boy. These enemies are everywhere right now. You are at the farthest position away that you can be, which is very inconsiderate. Just just kill yourself. Do the, do the thing. There you go. Two of them now. What a cool item. Right. Let's roll hard on some trinkets. Okay. This is one that could potentially be quite spicy. I will keep rolling and see if I get anything better. I'll do two more. Okay. I think we take this and try and get some familiars that this works with. That's good. That's very good for second phase of the uh, of the boss if we make it that far. I'm really just hoping we can buy some soul hearts soon. Nice. If we manage to kill him, we'll get some bombs as well. 
We did. Oh, but I got hit for the price. Camo undies. That's good too. Although, no. It's not really. It's not really that good, actually. Because we only ever enter the room once. So we get very little usage out of that, actually. But it's a little bit of something, I guess. You need to die quicker, sir. Much quicker. Oh my god. I think I got euthanasia at some point. <laughs> By the looks of things. Right. Um, let's keep her going. This is, this is a bit of a wacky one. Bit of a wacky one. The stars align. It gave us a lot of money. Okay, good. I was about to say, it didn't actually give us anything. Neptunus is great for us here. Let's go get a key first. Still no soul hearts to buy. This is an item. Little chubber. I'll keep you there for now, actually. Okay. Tractor beam? I don't know how that's going to work, but it works in just uh, amazingly, because we have a mod that apparently... Changes. Oh, I got the track. Uh, yeah, I got a mod that bu like buffs tractor beam to be synergizable. I don't know why I used it in this room. I don't know why I picked it up. But this, uh, this should be pretty good actually. It's very wacky. It's incredibly wacky, and I love it. Oh my god! It's so laggy. It's incredible. This is so cool. What have I created here? This actually might be viable with Tractor Beam, you know. I've definitely wasted some items here and there, but whatever. Okay, pop that again. Number one is, I think, actually really good for us here. Yes, it is. We don't need a lot of range. We can Soul Cleaver this. And get two of them. Now we got a train of chubs. Join us. Join the chub train. Holy crap. This is nutty. We have created something truly beautiful here. Truly beautiful. Right, let's keep our charges. Try and get Angel Deal to pop off. Just look at that. Get him with a hook shot. Good, good. Anything else remaining? No, no, no. The Angel Deal. And then we can go boom. And boom. I mean, Eucharist isn't great, but Eternal Seal could be fantastic. This is pretty awesome. We're at the cops. Need to buy a key again. We can buy soul hearts this time. Holy heck. Quad shot. Hmm. I don't... Do we need quad shot? I feel like not really. But if I soul, I I'll take it. Cause if I soul cleave it, it's only going to give me it anyways. Yeah, I, that, that that's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. Okay, let's buy a few more keys here. That's pretty good. Secret room here. 
rock bottom on this run. Are you kidding me? It's a little annoying that I just took quad shot, but hey ho. Tis what it is. I'm just going to quickly do an exit and continue to make sure we don't crash this run and lose this floor's progress. Anyways. This has uh, progressed into something quite insane. Was not expecting, I'll tell you, tell you that for sure. Eternal Seal doing its thing. I have to be very, very cavalier about my firing here, because... We create a lot of tiny shots that could very easily destroy our game with lag. I mean, we're already seeing 23 F FPS at the moment. We're already a little bit in the hole. Oh, there's just maggots all over down here. I didn't realize. I think burn spares was a really good decision as well. <coughs> <coughs> we're like spawning enemies onto the burn spares and then they're just instantly dying. <laughs> do apologize about the coughs. The frame rate is quite bad. Uek, uek, uek. Continuum's kind of interesting. Don't even know how that would work, but there you go. Take out Chimera. Still got the boss armor, so they're not going to die instantly. But it's pretty quick. I like the way Continue is basically just for visual flair more than anything. Doesn't really help all that much. Oh my god, I got hit for the first time in a while. Okay. Both dead. Next boss incoming. Ooh, now you're insta dead, yeah. <laughs> and you give me a lot of health too. Nice. Okay. Right, quickly pop in here. Pop that. We will definitely hack slash and slice up both of you guys. The matriarch is uh Gonna get a beating here too. This is just being a crazy run. I love this new tractor beam synergy mod. It's so good. I think that's everything. And I love the soul cleaver too. The soul cleaver is a lot of fun. Yeah, that's fine by me. <clears throat> Divine beams. Right. I think we are good to go to the next floor. I'm going to say that we are. We've come down with quite a lot of money. <clears throat> there you go, got some peeper's eyes in the business for joining the fun. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the coolest. What a showcase. I mean, it's laggy, but what a showcase. <laughs> I, I'm just lost for words at the moment. It's just so insanely crazy. I don't know how we're going to do against the boss, I'll be honest, because it could just go so bad. Because we have so such a hard time actually, like, taking care of anything with this much lag. Ace of Hearts could be good. Tomorrow, these fellas. We don't need the money anymore, but <clears throat> obviously it does give us charges, so... It's not terrible. I don't, I don't know any of, any of the waves or other. This is the last one, I think. <clears throat> was that it? That was it. 
And that was also it. Oh my god. Ooh, we got some escapees. Booyah. Done. <clears throat> oh wait, there's another wave. I've killed two bosses, so I'm like, oh, I'm done. No, no, no. Not how it works. Okay, this wave. I remember you. Easy breezy. Intel dealsy. I'm just gonna chop them all up. Right. Continuum is actually going through the wall there, look. Right, anything else we can do with our money here? Not really. I guess we could try and buy a card that is a bit more fitting for the boss. I think strength's pretty good. Ace of hearts is whatever. Lovers is whatever. Um, it is whatever. The Magus. Two batteries. The world. The world. The world. Scratcher. Three more scratches. <clears throat> I just used my strength card by accident. Bugger. PhD, I guess. Chop those up. Okay, keep going. There's another strength card. Good. We don't want lust. Hanged man doesn't really matter to us. High priest adjustment death. Another scratcher. Justice. Yes. I just want like a. Want something to be a damage up or something. Oh wait, we've apparently bought out the stock of cards now. How did that happen? Oh, this is good. This is good. Um, yeah, this is really good. Very useful for us. The Soul Cleaver has been good to us, but this is so much better for us right now. Anyways, on we go. <clears throat> this has been quite the uh, quite the interesting little run we've had here. But yeah, now we can curse him for 1.5 times extra damage. Hey, we got a golden bomb for that. He is eternal, by the way. This is intriguing. I don't really know what that means for us. Oh, God. Trying to actually use bombs is uh, quite impossible. Although, we do apparently have some bomb upgrades going on. It's not all that bad. Oh, we have Hurst Hat, too. We can we just drop bombs wherever we want. Let's just keep dropping bombs. I forgot we had Hurst Hat. Yeah, we got Herming on our bombs for some reason. I don't know what item that's from. Tried to see. It must be one of our um, many, many Wisps, because I don't know which item is giving us Herming bombs. This is crazy. quite hard to sort of see how well we're doing when the game is running at literally 15 FPS, but, you know, we do our best. This has been the laggiest build I've had in a while. Okay, phase one done, Singularity just gives us a chest. It gave us a golden penny. Golden penny's terrible. That's just like infinite healing for this guy. Oh god, we've done so much damage already. Holy hell. Oh my god. <laughs> 13, 12 FPS. 10. Every time I fire, it just dips so low. Maybe I should just try using exclusively bombs. I don't know if that'll actually help, but... Hey, I just got an item that time. 
He just picked up a dime. Stop. He can't keep getting away with this. Okay, I've been doing pretty well without firing so far. It keeps healing off that golden penny, though. Okay, we got him. That was insane. <laughs> that was truly insane, but we did it. I hope you guys did enjoy this because that was nutty. Um, <laughs> anyways, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.